Many people ask me about how to choose a racket, the right racket for him or her. But if you're a club player, and depending on how many years you've been playing, you can select it differently. If you've been playing badminton for one year or two years, then I don't think you need to buy very expensive uh, racket top of the range because you will not really feel about it. So if you are a player for one year or two year experience, then just buy medium range. The price wise I'm talking about. I'm not able to say you should buy this brand or that brand because each brand has got different rackets. Now, there are many people misunderstand about the rackets. Let's say 10 years old girl or boy, what racket she or he should use? 90% of people will give them light racket. Why? They think they are not strong, weak, therefore they should use a light racket. That is not true. That is not right. Because they don't have a power, they need a little bit heavier racket. For example, if this is a very light one, and then I hit the shuttlecock, I have to rely on my muscle power to hit the shuttlecock here to there. My racket will not help much because it's too light. Because they are not strong, not powerful, if they have to use heavier racket. And then when they use the heavy racket, it has got more momentum. So the heavy racket will send the shuttle longer. Okay, I prepared here. This is a half field. Water is a half field. This is a completely empty. So I am 10 years old girl. Let's say this is a, a racket. And I will draw over there. Very light. And then I draw. It goes there. But this is a half field. Just in case. And then I draw. It will go much further. Why? Because it has got the weight on it. Of course, it's too heavy. It's uh, not right. So, if you buy a racket, a racket to your kid, who is younger and not powerful, you should buy a little bit heavier racket. Now, the other way. You are a club player. And you telling me, yes, I am a control style player. Not much attack, but I'm controlling it. Therefore, I should buy the balanced one, even one, not the heavy one. But I disagree with that idea. L okay, so he's a stroke player. He makes a good stroke. And then finally, he had a chance to smash. Because of his uh, racket is uh, even, not heavy, his uh, smash power is 10. The another player have a little bit heavier racket, but he has the same kind of uh, stroke skills. And then when he has got a smash chance, and he smash, 
because of his weight of the power, because the weight of the rocket he's using, his smash power will be 12. So it will get through to opponent. So what I'm saying to you is you are using even rocket. Another person is using a little bit heavier rocket. But both of them have a similar skill. But when both of them have a chance of a smash, who will get more point? This person will get more point. So if you play competitively, if you play seriously, instead of saying, I'm not powerful, therefore I choose this rocket, it's not a good idea. You have to choose the best rocket for best you be able to use the power best and develop your muscle is the right way rather than stay accept your stage and everything bring to your level everything so the even better players I believe slightly heavier rocket is better because when they are late, shuttle goes deeper. Because the rocket is heavier, they can hit the shuttlecock deeper than using the light one from back to back. Less power they can generate. And same, you can question me. In order to use a heavier rocket, you need more power. Of course, that's why you are training, to get more powerful body and be able to make a more powerful shots. Now, my last advice, when you are selecting the rocket, you must test them. I know it's not easy to test the rocket, but you must do it. I have a reason why. Let's say this rocket in the internet, say evenly balanced. But depending on how you hold it, it will be different. Evenly balanced rocket, if you hold the end of the rocket, it becomes a little bit heavier rocket at the top because uh, the way you hold it. Let's say this is a heavy, heavy rocket. But if you hold a little bit higher, it becomes an even balanced rocket. Same. This is a light rocket here. But if you are using very thin grip, you will be even balanced rocket. And you like a heavy, heavy rocket and you bought a heavy heavy, you bought heavy heavy rocket. But if you use a thick grip, you don't feel heavy heavy. So depending on whether you hold here or hold there, depending on if you use a thin grip or a thick grip, the feel of the rocket will be completely different. That is why you must test the rocket to really feel it. If you just buy it, regardless the way you hold it, the size of rocket handle you are using, then you might get the wrong rocket. Okay, my conclusion is it is better to use a little bit heavier rocket than light rocket. When I test it, with the youngsters, even seven or eight years old girls and boys, they hit much longer with a heavier rocket than very lighter rocket.